Welcome to the Glenn Beck Program. Tonight, we have the most amazing video yet. Van Jones, special advisor to the president, who's been tasked with creating green jobs. You will not believe this video and how it ties together everything we've been talking about that is coming our way from this administration. I got a phone call last night informing me that this video had been found. I'm gonna show it to you. Plus, we're also checking on something that, if this is true, I mean, we've checked it out, but it is, it could potentially spell the end of Van Jones' run as the special advisor to the president, but what will that mean? It's so much deeper than this. This information should be unacceptable to the president and disqualify anyone, not only just maintaining his position on Pennsylvania Avenue, but we have to ask the questions, how did you get near the president? We have verified this story through several sources, but to be fair, we have asked again. We have asked the White House, please comment on this. So far, they haven't responded to our inquiries. We have asked them for a reply. Could you put the clock on? We've asked them for a reply. We told them we would issue this report at 530. America, if you want answers to reasonable questions in this unreasonable time, stand up. Come on, follow me. Well, hello, America. The bloggers, the detractors, you know, they'll say all kinds of things. They'll say that I'm crazy, that I'm, uh, oh, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Boy, is that one not going to work out to their advantage in just a little while. And that I'm targeting Van Jones. But let me tell you something. Van Jones is the tip of the iceberg. Too many things have been happening in this country that just don't make sense to too many Americans, Republicans, Democrats, independents. And it started way back with George Bush. I was on the air, nobody was watching, but I was on the air talking about President Bush. Here's a guy who was talking to us all about security and then leaving our borders wide open. Did that ever make sense to you? And then it just kept happening over and over and over again, all the way down to the latest Medicare, Medicaid, totally broke. So let's double down and have even a bigger system modeled on that one? That doesn't make sense. Well, so if nothing makes sense and you have to start looking at things and trying to find answers that do. During the campaign, the president said, if you want to know what my policies are, you have to look to the people I surround myself with. So I did. Van Jones. Van Jones, he's our green jobs czar. He said the same thing, except he said, quote, personnel is policy. Well, what does that tell you? Well, in the case of Van Jones and several others in this administration, it says that the president has an agenda that is radical, revolutionary, and in some cases, Marxist. We have laid this case out before you in, for, for several weeks, and we didn't just tell you these things, we showed you the video in their own words. But for the last 24 hours, everybody in the media has been talking about Van Jones and what he said about the Republicans. Apparently, what has captured the, uh, the attention of so many people since we played this video yesterday is the fact that Van Jones called the Republicans a naughty name in February of this year. Well, Van Jones has apologized. He's sorry he said the A-word about Republicans. He's not sorry, however. Let me show you. He's sorry about calling the Republicans this, but he's not sorry at all about these things, that he's a self-avowed communist. Not sorry about that. That he says that we need a whole new system. No apology. No apology for his freeing, uh, uh, what was this guy's name? Uh, Mumia Abju uh, Abu Jamal, the, the, cop, the communist cop killer in Philadelphia. Um, how about the, uh, being a member of the radical group Storm? Communist. No. How about being a black nationalist in his past? No apology for that. How about taking wealth from one group and another and doing it the entire system over? No, no, no. No apology for that. How about his statement on this one? You ready? You know, in fact, let me, let me go back because I want you to hear the words. Let me go back and, and show you him in his own words about wealth and how that should happen. 
No more broken treaties. No more broken treaties. Give them the wealth. Give them the wealth. Okay. Give the Indians the wealth. He's not sorry for that. Um, that doesn't sound capitalist to me. Not a word from Van Jones concerning his remarks that, listen to this one, whites are purposely poisoning minority neighborhoods. The white polluters and the white uh, environmentalists are essentially steering poison into the people of color communities. Boy, America, it, it, I mean, shouldn't we get an answer for just this one? Whites are poisoning minorities. He's not sorry for that. Oh, he's sorry that he called Republicans a-holes. Yeah, he's uh, not, not this. He's not apologized yet for saying that immigrants are being sprayed with toxins intentionally by Americans. What about our immigrant sisters and brothers? What about our immigrant sisters and brothers? What about people who come here from all around the world who we're willing to have out in the fields with poison being sprayed on them? Poison being sprayed on them because we have the wrong agricultural system. Nor has he expressed any misgivings listed on the board. None of these. The whole new system. Listen to this one. Ranting about changing our whole system. This movement is deeper than a solar panel. Deeper than a solar panel. Don't stop there. Don't stop there. No, we're going to change the whole system. We're going to change the whole thing. We're not going to put a new battery in a broken system. We want a new system. We want a new system.